Alright, so then let's go to slow and fast twitch. Now, slow and fast twitch, so contraction speed, so again, twitch is referring to that contraction, so slow, fast, contraction speed, that makes sense. So think about slow versus fast twitch muscle fibers. In terms of the overall diameter of the cells, well, fat, slow twitch, they have smaller fiber diameters, and fast twitch, they have larger fiber diameters. And I think OpenStax talks about the different types, so slow twitch, more oxygen use, more mitochondria, more myoglobin. So myoglobin is one of the proteins your muscle cells use to hold on to oxygen. And mitochondria, yeah, they're the powerhouse of the cell, but they also consume a lot of oxygen. So it makes sense that the mitochondria are important for a process called aerobic respiration. This is the most efficient way of generating ATP from your nutrients in your body. But the thing is that it requires oxygen. Versus fast twitch, you have anaerobic and relatively fewer mitochondria and less myoglobin. So the thing is that the mitochondria, I mean, you can still generate oxygen from nutrients in an anaerobic fashion, but things like, uh, let's see, do we want to get to that or should I save for fill one for two? Yeah, let's save for fill one for two. All right, so the thing is that this myoglobin also has a color as well. So this is why it's darker red in slow twitch fibers. And because you have less myoglobin in fast twitch fibers, because again, my fast twitch fibers do not use as much oxygen, they tend to be white and pale pink because they don't have as much of the myoglobin. And the energy source, so the thing is that the mitochondria, they're allowed to, um, the mitochondria can pretty much convert any of the major macronutrients in your body into ATP. Whereas if you have anaerobic respirate or anaerobic respiration, what you have is that or that carbohydrates so lipids and proteins you need the mitochondria to actually convert those to energy whereas carbohydrates you don't need oxygen to convert them into energy it's less efficient than with mitochondria but you're still able to convert carbohydrates to ATP without the need for oxygen but why is this all important well here we have to runners right but here we have marathoners versus sprinters but what he, if you just look at like marathoner people who run marathons versus people who like the same bowl or people who run sprints or do athletics well no, they actually have different ter types of fiber composition in terms of their slow versus fast twitch so remember slow twitch is more i mean it is slower so again they're not going to be as efficient in a very speed oriented like for short, so short bursts of speed, but they want to kind of like maintain their energy over a longer period of time. So aerobic respiration is slower, but it provides more energy over a longer period of time. So this is why, but what do you also notice about just their overall builds? Who tends to be bigger? Like marathon runners or sprinters? I mean, even though they're both, both runners and expending a lot of calories, notice that a lot of times these sprinters, you notice that they're pretty, they're kind of sometimes pretty big. So the thing is that this is where those fiber diameters also come in handy to know like differences between slow and fast twitch. So fast twitch tends to be bigger. That's why, I mean, it's not, all, not all sprinters are really big, but if you look overall, like you notice that the marathoners, they don't tend to be very big and ripped like the sprinters or the people who have a lot of fast twitch fibers. Again, this is also a consequence of the different diameters. Slow twitch fibers are generally smaller in diameter. So their muscles aren't as big. And the more myoglobin, so again, this is another reason why slow twitch and fast twitch are different in color, because if you need more oxygen for your muscles, you're going to, and doing a lot of aerobic respiration for slow twitch fibers, it's going to be darker. But if you're not really dependent on aerobic respiration, you're going to have less myoglobin, it's going to be paler. So this is another thing I like to do. So here we, we have like one of those hamachi, I think it's called yellowtail, I believe. But here, notice that what we have with this type of meat, notice that's kind of light and kind of pink. So I like to think of very fast twitch and fast flapping and fast swimming hamachi. Whereas here we have a big blue fin tuna or, or yellow fin tuna. So what we have here, Think of it just like a tuna being very slow and kind of gliding its way. But what this color is tuna meat? Well, typically, well, this one looks like it has a little carbon monoxide to it. 
but it has a lot of mild little bit. And so notice that it's very dark red. So this is what I was so in fast twitch fibers are kind of like. Notice that they're both meat. They both have muscle tissue, but one has more myoglobin than the other. So this would be slow twitch, and this would be fast twitch. All right, so I think that's it for today. And yeah, thank you for for your patience today. And sorry, <laughs> so I know we had a little concert from somebody in the middle of the lecture today. So Wednesday will be pre-recorded. I will upload that. It will be probably be mostly terminology, and actually for Friday, I might have something, because the thing is, like, I gotta admit, teaching the muscle anatomy part is kind of hard because it's like it requires a lot of memorization, and it doesn't really. I mean, I can show you it once. I can point out this is this muscle, this is this muscle, this is this muscle, but will it sink in the first time? It's really hard to do it that way. So I might have like a list of muscles, and I might do some sort of like, well. I'm thinking maybe some sort of like top hat game show sort of thing where you can kind of like quiz yourself from a mini review session so that you can kind of like test your knowledge like on Thursday, like study on Thursday, test your knowledge on Friday, study again on during the weekend, test your knowledge on Monday. And then we have our review session next week, Wednesday, not this Wednesday. And then our exam two on Friday. So that's what we have. All right, Pete, let's see if Peanut wants to come out. Yeah, as you saw earlier, he was kind of camera shy. I think he doesn't like. <laughs> All right, say bye. Oh, he's grumpy. <laughs> but actually, it's it's really funny too, cause like, oh, <laughs> yeah, he's grumpy. But yeah, yeah, he's grumpy because he was like poking around in his little box, and then he was like, ah, you took me out. But all right, so again, Wednesday is will be pre-recorded. Don't show up to Twitch because I won't be here. But all right, so take care and stay healthy, and I'll see you on Friday, all right? And okay, say bye, Peanut. Oh, he's saying bye in his own way. <laughs> all right, thank you, everyone. Take care. <laughs>